The world is in danger. Now is the time we need to band together to protect the ones we love, the things we hold most dear, and the wonderful world we were blessed with. When immune cells detect the presence of SARS-CoV-2, they secrete cytokines to recruit immune help to the area. Cytokines are proteins that, upon binding to specific receptors, are able to trigger certain immune events. One such way in which they are able to trigger these immune events is by a process known as transsignaling. In transsignaling, the cytokine receptor is floating out and about instead of being embedded in the cell membrane, and the cytokine must flow to it and bind to it, and then the entire complex must bind to a protein on a nearby compatible cell. Interleukin-6, or IL-6, is one such cytokine that utilizes transsignaling. When IL-6 is released from a cell, it will begin transsignaling by finding and binding to IL-6 receptors floating in the bloodstream. Once it does, it will conclude transsignaling by binding to a protein on a nearby compatible cell. In this case, the vascular endothelial cell, the cell that lines the inner walls of all blood vessels. This transsignaling then prompts the cell to trigger an immune event, namely the release of more IL-6 and of what is known as vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, which is a protein with the ability to alter vascular permeability. However, these newly released IL-6 will once again bind to IL-6 receptors, restarting transsignaling and ultimately leading to an endless, uncontrollable cycle of VEGF and IL-6 release. Excessive VEGF can cause fluid to leak out of blood vessels and into potentially life-threatening locations, like your lungs, and it is this pneumonia-like buildup of fluid that has been among the primary causes of mortality in COVID-19 patients. This is why the drug tocilizumab is promising. It binds to the IL-6 receptor before IL-6 can. In this way, if IL-6 is no longer able to bind to its receptor, the entire process of transsignaling is put to a halt, hence preventing the entire fatal uncontrollable loop of VEGF and IL-6 release. We are in the midst of a time that will inevitably shape the course of each and every one of our future. So say it with me, we will stand by one another, hold each other up, and we will walk this path together.